Mr. President, you've said before that torture works. You've praised Russia. You've said you want to ban some Muslims for coming to, from coming to America. You've suggested there should be punishment for abortion. For many people in Britain, those sound like alarming beliefs. What do you say to our viewers at home who are worried about some of your views and worried about you becoming the leader of the free world? This was your choice of a question. <laughs> There goes that relationship. Now, on, on, the, uh, on the issue that you raised with me, Laura, can I confirm that uh, the president, I've been listening to the president and the president has been listening to me. That's the point of having a conversation and a dialogue. Uh, and we have been discussing a number of topics. We'll carry on uh, after this press conference meeting and discussing a number of other topics. And there will be times when we disagree and issues on which we disagree. The point of the special relationship is that we are able to have that open and frank discussion uh, so that we are able to, to make that clear when it happens. But I'm clear also that there are many issues on which the United Kingdom and the United States stand alongside one another, uh, many issues on which we agree. And I think, as I said yesterday in my speech, that we are at a moment now when we can build an even stronger special relationship, which will be in the interests not just of the UK and the United States, but actually in the interests of the wider world as well. Very good. Uh, we have a great general who has just been appointed Secretary of Defense, uh, General James Mattis. And uh, he has stated publicly that he does not necessarily believe in torture or waterboarding or however you want to define it. Enhanced interrogation, I guess, would be a word that a lot of words that a lot of people would like to use. Um, I don't necessarily agree, but I would tell you that he will override because I'm giving him that power. He's an expert. He's highly respected. He's the general's general. Uh, got through the Senate very, very quickly, which in this country is not easy, I will tell you. And uh, so I'm going to rely on him. I happen to feel that it does work. I've been open about that for a long period of time. Uh, but I am going with our leaders, and uh, we're going to uh, — we're going to win with or without, but I do disagree. Uh, as far as, again, uh, Putin and Russia, I don't say good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, I don't know the gentleman. I hope we have a fantastic relationship. That's possible, and it's also possible that we won't. Uh, we will see what happens. I will be representing the American people very, very strongly, very forcefully, and if we have a great relationship with Russia and other countries. And if we go after ISIS together, which has to be stopped, that's an evil that has to be stopped, I will consider that a good thing, not a bad thing. How the relationship works out, I won't be able to tell you that later. I've had many times where I thought I'd get along with people, and I don't like them at all. <laughs> and I've had some where I didn't think I was going to have much of a relationship. And it turned out to be a great relationship. So, Teresa, we never know about those things, do we? But I will tell you one thing. I'll be representing the American people very strongly. Thank you.